thing is like, what would be the elevator pitch for why um, Pulse is better than say, you know, Solana or AVAX or any of these other competitors? Yeah. Uh, Solana, how many smart contracts got? Not much. Why? Got to write them in their own made up language. Oh, their network went down. Totally. Oops. Found the guy that the lead guy, which by the way, they've also had hidden supply that they didn't tell anyone existed that they gave to a market maker. And you're like, "Uh uh-huh. Yeah. Scammy sounding. And then the guy that like runs the network's like, yeah, we don't really care if it goes down again to quote an article today. Well, that all sounds kind of crappy, right? It's it, like every L1 Ethereum uh, thing is doing well because Ethereum's dying to fees currently. So every other L1 Ethereum thing is doing well currently because the fees are too high, right? So, you know, what else? Did uh, Solana have the world's largest airdrop to on-ramp zillions of users all at once? Nope. Did, does it have a derivative play on the value of every ERC-20 because those same ticker symbols with the same code will be on their network? Nope, doesn't have any of that. So, you know, it's, I think the value proposition for Pulse is vastly higher than any of the other Ethereum killers I can think of. My biggest sticking point is just that there's one entity that put in so much of them. They own around 90% and they could technically freeze, censor, roll back the chain, yeah. steal funds. They could sure. print new tokens. Okay. Hey, so let's, how play, do you... let's play that game, bro. You want to know who else can do that? Every single mining network, every single pool. You want to know how many pools actually mine the blocks on your favorite proof of work chain? Like three or four? Okay. And how often have those three or four guys decided to screw themselves in the butt and just stop processing transactions for lulls? It's never happened. All your parade of imaginary horrible questions go the same place. They have absolutely no root in reality nor example that has ever occurred. Never. Yeah, it wouldn't make much sense to debase your own net worth through a hack. But the person could Doesn't lose make their any keys. Sense. They could get their keys stolen, yeah, right? Yeah, and then the community could fork away their coins because they're socially enforced networks. 